hello students today we will learn about the statements used in QBasic the collection of statement makes the program okay first of all uh, we will start from the RAM statement the syntax of RAM statement is RAM and simply comment for example, uh, we will write rem and this comment and or describe the program to calculate the area of rectangle. Okay. Remark or rem is declaration statement which is used to put comment or remark in the program. Uh, basically, it is not executable statement. It does not have any impact in the program. It is written at the first or after the CLS. Before CLS or after the CLS statement. Okay, this much about rem statement we have finished the rem statement now cls statement cls stands for clear the logical screen cls statement is used at the starting of the program because it it clears the already written in instruction or commands for example uh, first we will give a command print print hello osmita and next command print hi how are you then we will uh, run the program it will show both both statement or both sentence hello Smita, how are you but when we write CLS in between these two statement then if we run the program then we will see only hi how are you from this we can understand that CLS erase the previous command or it clears the uh, statement that was written above the CLS. From this we can know the function of CLS or clear the logical screen statement. Here is input sta statement. The syntax of input statement a double quoted message then semicolon then after that our variable okay CLS input we can give here message double inverted comma inverted comma message for example enter enter your name then that's sorry we will close the inverted comma then semicolon then variable here is two types of data in QBasic numeric data and string data for numeric data we will use numeric variable for string data we will use string variable here enter your name name is a 
string data so we will use a string variable while using string variable we use of your dollar sign in the variable it is a dollar this is the input statement input statement is used to accept the data from the keyboard or the user while execution time of the program to the related variable okay this much another example input enter your age here is age is numeric data so we, we will use numeric variable we will not use dollar sign okay this much now print statement print statement also is same as input print statement is a output statement so here we will use print then message in double quoted uh, for example message is my name is and in inverted comma close semicolon uh, it will uh, it represents the string data so string variable it is the result of the input statement into your name a dollar same as above uh, print my age is semicolon b end okay we will run this program here enter your name this is a input statement is working here okay we will input the name ram enter your age second input statement okay 20 then here is the result my name is ram my age is 20 this result came due to the print statement now let statement let statement is a statement self that helps us to put value in the variable when we have to put the value in the variables then we will use let statement it is one of the optional statement like input statement but only used to put the value in variable first we will use we will type let then here syntax of let is uh, first variable then is equal to then The value the value can be constant or variables or expression I will use here okay in a program let will this is let statement uh, let a variable l is equal to 10 then let b is equal to 4 then let a is equal to l star b in print print a okay print a then end 
here let statement is used to assign the value of l v and a here we give the value of l 10 the value of v 4 and the value of a the formula l into b we can use let statement in formula also so we will run this statement this program it will give the result 40 because we have given a command print a uh, up to this we have used five statement ram statement cls statement input print let statement i will show you one last statement that is read data statement read data statement <coughs> Read data statement is used to read the given value of data statement and store with a suitable variable. Both read and data comes along with each other. First of all, we will use read statement, then we will give variables such as a comma b comma c then sum is equal to a plus b plus c print sum here print command or print statement is used then we will give data the bell value for variables data is 10 20 and 30 sorry 30 then in statement read will read the data for the variables here we will run this program the result will be 60 because yeah here we have applied the formula sum is equal to a plus b plus c the value for the a is 10 the value for the b is 20 the value for the c is 30 the read statement will read the data for the related variables in this way read data statement is used in this way we have read the six statements rem statement cls statement input statement print statement let statement and read data statement today we have read general statements using QBasic uh, these are the general statements using QBasic for um, basically I have taught you so you can use this statement these statements and you can solve your problems you can make your programs thank you don't forget to subscribe and share this video goodbye